today I'm just going to be going over um, how to do a facial and I'm going to be doing it on my sister Megan. Um, before you start, I just wanted to go over a little bit like the preparation and everything like that. So before you start, you want to make sure all your stuff is sanitized, um, like your area that everything's going to be laying on. And then you also want to make sure that you have all your products out already, just so that way you're not having to run around and like, you just want to be organized. Um, go ahead and open stuff up and everything like that. Um, if you have a towel warmer, go ahead and put your towels in the towel warmer. Uh, make sure you wash your hands before. And then you also want to um, sanitize your hands before Basically you start. Basically just gonna go through all the steps and here's all the steps. Um, I'll have those up for just a minute in case you wanna like screenshot it or whatever. So first, you're gonna wanna ask your client um, some questions about their skin, just to see what their skin type is. And then you also wanna do a consultation, ask them what kind of medicines are on, just cause I know some medicines um, can be bad with like some of the stuff that during a facial. Um, and then there's a few other like contradictions or whatever that we're not supposed to do. So um, I'm gonna start off by asking her that. We've already kind of talked about what kind of skin she has. Um, it looks like she gets pretty oily in through like her T-zone, like almost everyone. And then she also has a little bit of dry skin on her cheeks and stuff. So, um, I'm just going to start by taking off any makeup and removing any kind of, um, dirt that might be on her face. And so I'm just going to start from the bottom and you just want to work your way up. You always want to move up and out to avoid causing any um, wrinkles and stuff like that. So the first thing you're going to do after you remove any makeup or um, any dirt or anything like that is you're going to want to do the first deep cleanse. So I just went ahead and put some cleanser onto cotton pads and I'm just going to um, apply it to her whole face. Again, just working from the bottom up and out. And then if you need a little bit more, but you just wanna make sure that you have enough to be distributed. Okay, so now that we have got enough on there and everything I'm just gonna take this brush and whenever you use an electric brush like this you want to make sure you put it on the face first and then um, turn it on because if you don't you can get stuff everywhere so again I'm just gonna work from the bottom up And then you just want to make sure everything is good and distributed everywhere. And then you also want to make sure you're avoiding the eye area. Okay, so now that you've gotten done with that, I'm just going to take this towel and remove everything. So whenever you use the towel and stuff like this, you want to take it by both corners like this and then you want to put this right below her mouth and then hold it there and wrap up and then wrap the other side up, making sure you leave her nose out and stuff so that way you're not um, getting it to where she can't breathe. And then you just want to make sure... All of the product is off. 
Um, after you do that first deep cleanse, you're just going to do the exact same thing again, just to make sure the skin is very clean for all the steps after that. So now that we've completed that second cleanse, I'm just going to take um, some cotton pads and a little bit of toner. Now this toner, it's alcohol free and it's um, not going to like completely strip her skin. So that's, that's why I'm using this one. And then you always want to make sure you have two little cotton pads whenever you do stuff like this because um, you want to make sure you can use both hands and everything. So again, I'm just going to start from the bottom up. Just work my way up and out. So the reason that we use toners and stuff is um, it's used to equalize the skin's pH and everything. So that way, um, like after we cleanse and everything like that, and we're getting all of the stuff out, uh, we're also going back in and rebalancing everything. Another thing I forgot to mention earlier was whenever you do facials and stuff, you want to make sure you have no rings or bracelets on because they can cause scratches and stuff on your client's skin. And then you also want to make sure your nails are short and smooth because those can also scratch your client's skin and everything. So now after we apply the toner and everything like that, this would be the part where I usually use the steamer on her face just to open up all her pores. And then you would want to exfoliate after that. Um, I'm gonna use a, a mask that has an exfoliator in it in a little bit, but now we're just going to move on to the massage. So, I'm just going to get a little bit of lotion on my hands and we're going to start by just applying this lotion all over her face. Just making sure we have a nice even layer. So now that we've got this, we're going to start off with the effleurage, which is, um, you're just going like this on the skin and you just want to make it, um, you want to go from the chin up the jawbone and then you want to go from the corner, corner of the mouth up to the earlobes and then from the corner of the nose up to the temples and then you want to go bottom of the um, forehead and then top of the forehead. And then you wanna do this three times. So we're starting from the chin, up the jawbone, going from the corner of the mouth, up to the earlobes, corner of the nose, up to the temples, and then bottom of the forehead, and top of the forehead. And then I'm also like doing very light pressure. Um, you don't want to put too much pressure on anything because that can be a little bit uncomfortable. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is petrissage. And then so what you're going to do for that is you want to go in the same areas. Um, and we're, we're kind of doing this with our hands and just kind of pinching the skin a little bit. Not aggressive or anything like that. And then you just want to go in the same movements. And then we're going to do that three times. And then again, I'm also just avoiding um, her eye area just so that we don't get anything in our eyes. And then the last one is um, tapotement, which is you're just going to lightly do this with your fingers in those same areas. Oh, 
and then I'm still just being very light. Um, again, you don't want to put too much pressure. And then you want to do this one three times as well. And then after all of the facial movements, you always want to end again with effleurage just to um, smooth everything out again and just make sure everything is um, rubbed in. So now that we have massage and everything is um, very uh, moist and everything from the lotion, we're gonna do a mask. So I'm using a mask with an exfoliator in it, like I said earlier, and you just wanna use like a little spatula or whatever. And again, you just wanna apply from the bottom up and just make sure that you have an even layer on everything. And then also whenever you're choosing a mask, you wanna make sure that you choose one um, that is right for your client's skin and everything like that. You want to make sure you're avoiding her mouth and um, just around her eyes and stuff. Another little um, tip whenever you're doing a facial, you want to make sure that you're work environment is very quiet and you're being very calm and most of the time you have soothing music playing in the background or ocean noises or whatever stuff like that um yeah So now that we've applied the mask, we're just going to let this um, dry and then um, once it's dry, you just want to remove it with a warm towel. So after you remove the mask and everything, um, you just want to go ahead and tone the skin one more time. Just make sure the pH of the skin is balanced and everything. So still just working from the bottom up and then from the uh, middle of the face out. Now after you do that, um, we're just going to apply some moisturizer all over her skin just to finish up the facial. And then you're finished.